everybody i welcome you all for the next class on angiospermic families today uh, we are doing malvesi and ambliferi we also call it apac so these two families are very important yesterday we did the ranunculaceae and brassicaceae i hope all are doing it and its diagnostic characteristic feature you are doing this classes these particularly classes are very important for bsc 2 from theory point a bsc 3 it is for oct point we, we will get 30% of uh, marks from these by second year right of which i have already took the gymnosperm part so now i am taking the families the lot of questions will come from the families so i ask or just to remind you all that the thorough study is very much required the basic knowledge is required right so i want out of first 100 in oct so 90 more than 90 people the students they came from our college in past also but in present also so this time you have to gear up and put a foot on the accelerator and we will have a bingo 100 out of 100 because this is my motto right ek chhota to सुरक्षा चक्र टूटा राइट एवरी टाइम आई सेड इन क्लास सो दिस टाइम वी विल हैव हंड्रेड आउट ऑफ हंड्रेड राइट सो स्टे इन डोर स्टे सेफ राइट आई विल बी बैक इन ए मोमेंट स्टे बैक गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी आई वेलकम यू ऑल बैक फॉर नेक्स्ट क्लास ऑन द एंजोस्पर्मिक फैमिलीज एंड टूडे वी विल टेक द मालवेसी in which we study the flower hibiscus rosa sinensis also called china rose here inflorescence is solitary terminal see this and the flower is formed at the tip so growth stops here it then move in the lateral side and the flower is ebracteate ebracteolate pedicellate complete actinomorphic bisexual hypogynous we will discuss today also mucilaginous hairs pentamerous and this is the characteristic feature apicalyx apicalyx they are 6 to 8 free or fused they are hairy or green right so before moving uh, uh, further i just want to tell you what is the hypogynous condition right so this is the hypogynous i already told you and in this hypogynous uh, condition we have uh, hypo means below and the uh, and gynous is uh, gynoecium if the sepal petals and stamens they are attached to the receptacle below the ovary and the ovary is superior if and here see they are attaching below the ovary and ovary is superior whereas other parts that is androperiant means sepal petals and androecium they are inferior thalamus is c convex or conical so androperithesis is born below the level of ovary and Uh, thalamus is not fused with the wall of the ovary see this wall is free right so uh, this we do the uh, hypogynous part so then uh, i am moving to the next part that is calyx 5 gamosepalous pentapartite campanulate right green and persistent and inferior by default it is inferior because ovary is superior whereas corolla is also five polypetalous twisted so here estivation is twisted like we twist ek upar ek niche ek upar ek niche and here the uh, petals are scarlet red with wavy margin prominently veined this is very important in which family you will get the petals uh, red scarlet red wavy and prominently waved you can answer malvesi mucilaginous as bait fused at the base with the staminal tube so this is uh, very important so i will discuss you later further i have moved to the androecium monodelphus then apipetalous staminal tube with distinct five antisepalous teeth at its upper end staminal tube red in color anthers yellow reniform reniform 
like kidney like monothecus transversely attached to the filament this is very important till now we have done the basic uh, basic it means uh, basic fixed now we are transversely attached longitudinal extrus dehiscence is extrus and it is inferior by default as because ovary is superior so now we are coming to the this part you will see right this see this is bud solid to terminal and then it will come right and i had already told you the uh, see this these are the sepals apicalyx we have and this is corona see the corona i already told you five polypetalous twisted petals scarlet red large obovate with wavy margin see wavy margin and this wavy margin and prominently veined and it is mucilaginous at the base right see now we are coming to the endrosium endrosium i told you monodelphus apipetalus staminal tube with distinct five antisepals teeth and it results in the uh, staminal tube red in color right so now question arises this is staminal tube these are stamens these are monodelphus and they are apipetalous right apipetalous means they have c5 a infinity and this right and here the filaments they fuse to form a staminal tube so uh, it is very important to know the types of endrosium see these are the basically uh, types of endrosium and the first is you will see monodelphus this one right in case of uh, monodelphus we just did is when the filaments are fused to form a single tube but their anthers are free see their anthers are free but their filaments they fuse to form a single tube this is called monodelphus now in the subsequent families i will do the diadelphus right so diadelphus when the filaments are united in two groups this is one and this is two and their anthers remain free see their anthers are remain free and we will do uh, in the therus that is p family then polydelphus condition here when all the uh, filaments are united in many groups right one two three and their anthers are remain free which we will do in rutaci that is citrus right and after that we will do uh, syngenius or synanthrus see in this case when all the anthers are united in one group with the filaments free right they are arranged in one group but their filaments are free this is reverse condition which we are doing earlier so here uh, we will have a family called compositi very important family or asteraceae we will take in the subsequent days right then we have the next that is synendrus synendrus is the phenomenon where all, all anthers as well as filaments are united here both are united here filaments are united here anthers are united here both are united and uh, to form one group and we will do in cucurbitaceae right so now then after that this situation is also very important gynandrus when stamens are united with gynaecium this is a characteristic feature of family we will do again 
that is uh, calotropius right sleep edc we say then these are dupe conditions diadynamous and tetradynamous this we have did right now tetradynamous just yesterday where there are six androsium in brassica four longer anterior posterior which form the uh, inner roll whereas two small which for are lateral have formed the outer roll whereas the diadynamous condition so uh, in the tulsi that is osimum where this two plus two and uh, two are large and two are small so this is in case of brassica and this is in case of osimum so this is the type of androsium now i move to the uh, last part of uh, this flower gynaecium it is pentacarpullary syncarpus and uh, ovary is superior pentalocular with axile placentation style is single so now what is axile you see we did the placentation yesterday also first is the basal placentation which is in ranunculus in which placenta develops from its base a single ovule found attached to the base and then we have did the marginal placentation Uh, where the ovules develops in rows near the margins on the ventral surface, therefore it is called ventral placentation. This is uh, we did in the uh, case of delphinium, right? So uh, then uh, today we will do the uh, air placenta is in is axial and ovules are attached in it. Whereas these both upper they will occur in the monocarpullary unilocular ovaries, where the axial placentation will occur in the bilocular and multilocular i put a star and this is very important right so uh, then we are coming back to the axial placentation we did so a uh, single style single long passing through staminal tube stigma 5 capitate right it will like this 1 2 3 4 5 right with velvety growth red many ovules in each locus so of ovary and ovule ovules are anatropous the fruit is five walled capsule and it is endospermic i remind you again what we did is the ranunculaceae both are endospermic delphinium and ranunculus and today malvaceae endospermic right but one family we did is the brassicae where it is non endospermic here uh, bisexual uh, actinomorphic apicalyx is there calyx five fused and uh, corolla five free and then it is uh, epipetalous and androsium is uh, numerous monodelphous condition which we i already told you and uh, this uh, monodelphous condition uh, where which we form the staminal tubes they are monothecous reniformed uh, not uh, monodelphous sorry uh, monothecous so uh, they are uh, reniform and transversely attached to the filaments whereas uh, gynaecium is pentacarpally syncarpus right superior because it is a hypogynous conditions and uh, then uh, uh, then we have uh, many ovules in each ocular and then uh, we are coming to the uh, i already told you uh, we have uh, uh, there here uh, twisted twisted means in this one margin of sepal or petal overlaps the other like this right so uh, before uh, going to it i will show you the floral diagram see this is ovary this is multilocular and lot of ovules there right and here the anther filaments they fuse to form a staminal tube corolla is veined right pentafid stigma ovary is hypogynous condition right and then uh, this is staminal tube and these are stamens which are basically uh, monothecus reniform transversely attached right this is the uh, floral formula we have the apicalyx and then we have calyx then corolla which is twisted right and then it is this apipetalous and then these are the basically monothecus reniform androsium in which its filaments they fuse to form a the staminal tube and this is the gynaecium so uh, as i already told you about the placentation see this is the placentation what we did 
yesterday is this one basal ovule at the base then we have the ovules at the margins that is ventral surface also called ventral placentation then we we did is the this one this is unilocular but because of the formation of this false raplum it become bilocular parietal placentation and then we have the axial and axial means there are multi bilocular to multilocular with many ovules arranged in form of ovules are anatropous so uh, this we uh, did the uh, structure so now i am coming back to the floral formula and it is uh, very easy to understand the floral formula so before that i move on to uh, next uh, flower that is the uh, umbelliferi right uh, flower of umbelliferi family and this uh, is also called apac and here we study the flower is coriander sativum and uh, the inflorescence is compound umbel right umbel i will just uh, explain you flowers are ebracteate pedicellate right same uh, and complete but here they are zygomorphic right here the zygomorphic in outer flower whereas the actinomorphic in inner flower this is the characteristic feature of it then it is uh, hermaphrodite right and epigynous conditions so now we are coming with the epigynous condition so epigynous what is epigynous so epigynous i will show you see this is the epigynous condition right so in epigynous condition epi means above gynous mean gynoecium and if the sepals petals and stamens they are attached to the receptacle above the ovary the ovary is inferior and by default the other floral parts are superior the thalamus see is a flask shaped right so uh, this we do the uh, umbelliferi uh, and now we are uh, it is basically uh, pentamerous in outer rolls now we are coming to the calyx calyx is uh, five gamosepals right adnate with ovary right unequal it is in zygomorphic flowers zygomorphic flowers means that is the outer flower slightly petaloid superior calyx teeth five two interior are larger than three posterior in zygomorphic flowers where it is unequal in zygomorphic where there we have the three posterior which are larger and two interior are larger than three posterior uh, sepals in zygomorphic so that is unequal in shape so uh, whereas in case of actinomorphic they are equal right so now i am coming before i am come going to the corolla i just want to show you the this see this is umbel they are arranged at one plane right whereas yesterday we did is the racine here they are acropetally arranged and they are indefinite growth whereas second we do did is the this cymos cluster where uh, they are basically in bicipital arrangement but because they uh, they don't reach to the same plane but today we will do that they reach to the uh, umbel like form right so that is why it is called umbel so see this is the inflorescence this is inflorescent bracket and uh, this is the uh, flower and here they are nearly reaching to the a uh, one point and see uh, this is a very characteristic feature that is stylopodium i just discussed with you 
now uh, before uh, moving to the corolla corolla see this is correct right so next is the uh, that is uh, corolla it is five polypetals in the outer flower the petals are unequal two posterior ones are bilobed and smaller one interior is deeply lobed and largest while the two are lateral large and bilobed with very small lobes reflexed at the tip petals of inner flowers are equal in size and superior see this is very interesting so this i have outer zygomorphic flower see first you will see the calyx these are three they are smaller and two are right larger whereas when we choose actinomorphic they are of same size now we are coming to the corolla corolla i just told you in case of corolla the five polypetals in the outer flower the petals are unequal two posterior ones are bilobed these posterior ones are bilobed but they are smaller where one anterior is deeply lobed this is very deeply lobed and largest while two laterals right these are the two laterals they are large but with very small lobe reflexed at the tip very small lobe and the petals of inner flowers are equal in size but when we will see here here petals there is no change this inner flower they are of the so uh, outer flower is zygomorphic here the sepals are unequal petals are unequal whereas actinomorphic they are basically sepals and petals both are equal now we are coming to the androsium very important five polyandrous right filaments long anthers bithicus because in malvasi we did is the monothicus right see see anthers are bithicus right so uh, anthers are bithicus dorsifixed till now we did is the uh, basifixed uh, whereas uh, after dorsifix dices longitudinal intros towards the inner side center side right whereas uh, just now we did the malvasi here where they are eating extros right so uh, malvasi which we just did e endospermic and this e and is extros so next we are coming to the last part of it gynecium bicarpellary syncarpus ovary inferior because we have did is the epigynous condition right so uh, it is inferior uh, bilocular with single pendulous ovule parlocular and uh, presentation is exile and anterior posterior ovary adnate with calyx tube and this ovary it adnates with calyx tube a bilobed nectar excreting disc present above the ovary a bilobed nectar excreting this is see bilobed nectar excreting disc this is called uh, stylopodium present above the ovary styles absent this is very important style is absent two stigmas arising directly from the stylopodium see two stigmas they are arising directly from the stylopodium and stigma is capitate fruit is very important schizocarpic or it is cremocarp the fruit is uh, schizocarpic or cremocarp and as i told you amblyphary it is uh, endospermic and uh, it in which uh, when we do the structure you will see this is ovary oil glands are there and there is a ridge is there and this is the uh, inflorescence uh, i told you this is compound umbel right so these are the flowers that is outer flower and inner flower 
and this is uh, gynoecium and rosium we did one two three four five both uh, we did and rosium uh, which is five polyandrous filaments long and thus by thickest torsi fixed and adhesives uh, longitudinal intros whereas by default it is superior right so uh, when i come to the diagnostic features see the diagnostic features first is compound number i already told you polypetalous pentamerous regular and irregular flowers means uh, both zygomorphic flowers outer flowers whereas actinomorphic that is inner flowers and ovary is inferior because of epigynous condition okay sepal petal stamens there are five so it is uh, like a um, five in three except that of we are coming to the uh, gynoecium right and bicarpary syncarpus with two pendulous ovule right and uh, then uh, fruit i said uh, either schizocarpic or chemocarp and the seed is endosperm right so this uh, we finishes uh, the amblyphry so uh, just amblyphry we just see the its uh, floor formula and uh, this is outer k5 c5 a5 and g2 here it is basically zygomorphic where inner flower is Uh, actinomorphic right and k5 c5 a5 is same right but i already told you the difference in these calyx and corolla is the their shapes because here they are equal right here they are unequal right which i already told you and the placentation is exile exile placentation i already told you your placentation is exile and ovules are attached to it it occurs in basically bilocular and multilocular i again revise in unilocular uh, ovaries we have the basal and marginal marginal presentation which is occurs in monocarpal unilocular ovary also called ventral presentation where exile occurs only in the bilocular and multilocular ovaries right so this i finishes and before uh, just moving on i want to tell you the uh, some diagnostic features of Uh, malvesi also right so malvesi uh, diagnostic features we have to do that is uh, basically c solitary terminal right c we are coming to here flowers are regular hermaphrodite pentamerous and apicalyx is present then stamens they are indefinite monodelphous right anthers monothecous and carpels they are basically five syncarpus exile presentation right and condition i told you is uh, hypogynous and then we have the fruit schizocarpic car it is also called uh, carcellulous and uh, then uh, the main characteristic feature i am telling you is the basically presence of um, this uh, twisted aestuation um, and we have prominently veined a uh, corolla and uh, the androecium uh, which is reniform and monothecous so ovary having exile presentation and this ovary they will uh, is pentacarpellary and syncarpus and the conditions of all the uh, basic androecium i did uh, in detail so i will Uh, ask you to please uh, revise it and make the floral diagram as much time as possible you can make right and jot down the characteristic uh, or diagnostic features which are very important from the uh, competition points so we revise these ranunculaceae brassicaceae malvesi and amblyphry and i will be with you with the next two families so please uh, revise them so to make it bingo in the oct and which i desired it is a best return gift you can provide to me thank you stay indoors bye bye